Welcome back to another tutorial and uh, we're going to finish off this simple shoot. Uh, we're going to make the enemy shoot at us. We're going to have a, a title page uh, so you can start and end the game and there's going to be a high score. So a lot to get through and uh, let's get let's get started. So I've made the changes last night and I've, I've commented out the new code and we'll go through adding in the code. So um, if you remember when we run the game currently we've got an enemy coming down we can shoot at the enemy and uh, he gets shot and so on. The score's actually not updating because we've changed uh, I've changed the logic for that. Uh, we've got now a uh, high score variable okay initially it's going to be zero like the score and um, we have um, some code later on down here which we'll, we'll bring into play soon. But first we need to make the enemy shoot at us. So we go to the loader, um, we've got some code down here. Um, first we're going to load in um, an image, enemyfire.png, small red blob, into image number four. And we're going to create five bullets. Okay, well, that needs to be a rem, that is a, a comment. When I say rem, uh, basic has a, a comment called rem, R-E-M. It's just the same as slash slash. So we've got four i equals zero to four. We're going to create sprite um, 110 plus i, so 110 to 114, using the new image number four. Okay, um, so that creates four sprite enemy bullets. And if we just run again, you'll see in the top left these are the bullets here. Okay. Now, how we're going to move those? Um, we have in enemy move, we have a routine called enemy shoot. Okay, um, there's a flag called enemy fired. If it's zero, which it is at the start, then we then say if the ra a random number between one and a hundred equals five, okay, then make enemy fired one. That means if I if I randomly pick a number and it's five, the enemy is going to shoot at me. And when it does happen that, enemy fired equals one, so that means, yes, we're now firing. The enemy is firing at the player. And what I do is I go through those four sprites I've just created for I equals zero to four. I set the sprite position based on, so first we get the, the first bullet, 110 plus I, so 110. Um, and we get the sprite X position of the enemy ship and we add about 60 pixels onto that and we get the sp sprite Y position of the enemy ship and add 70 pixels so the bullet comes out so like near the bottom of the ship. And we do that four times okay so we've got four sorry five times zero to four um, and five bullets will shoot out and then we end if end if so we have these indented if statements. So when that is true, obviously enemy fired becomes one. So in this bit of code here, it says if enemy fired equals one, which it is, then we're going to set the sprite position of each of these bullets. And what I do is, it's quite clever this, uh, 110 is the first bullet. I get its current X position of 110 and I minus three. So it's sort of like moving itself without having... I don't need to remember another x variable or another y variable. I just change its current variable by getting its variable and subtracting 3 from it. And for the y position, I add 3. And the way this works is that the next bullet, I minus 1 and I add 3. So I minus 1 off the x and add 3 to the, the y. I'm adding 3 to, to the y on every bullet because I want all the bullets to come down the screen. But the x... I'm doing minus 3, then minus 1, then nothing, then plus 1 and plus 3. So I'll get a nice spread of bullets going from the centre, left and right. Uh, you'll see that in a moment. So that's enemy shoot, and it checks his variable enemy fired 1. It moves the bullets down. And at the end of this routine, it checks bullet 1 to see if it's gone off the edge of the screen at the bottom. And if it has, it says enemy fired equals 0 and then the routine has to check and wait for the random number to equal 5 again. 
If you want the bullet to happen more often, you would reduce this down to say 10 or, I don't know, 50. But 100 is a, a nice value. Between 1 and 100 gives us quite a bit of uh, randomness. So go back to the main menu and we're going to need to call that routine. Okay, enemy shoot. So let's play the game and see the enemy coming down. There it is, it's shooting the bullets. I can obviously still shoot. Their bullets don't hurt me at the moment. So we need to put in the collision for that. But to do that, we're going to put in a menu system. When we've been killed, we need to sort of end the game. We've got a bit of code here. If game over equals one, then go sub main menu, reset the score, end if. Okay, well game over does equal one at the very start here. Okay, because the game is over when you come to the main menu. And what's gonna start the game is me pressing the button. Now we need to go to go sub main menu. So this whole bit of code here controls the menu comes in, it creates some text, um, simple shooter, high score, fire to start, it goes up, hide, hide game sprites, and what that does is it just hides any of the sprites that are in the game, like the player ship, the enemy, the bullets, um, the stars, we just don't want to see them right now. And okay, if you click there, it shows you, double click on the label, it shows you where the label is here. And it goes through all sprites, 1 to 114, and makes them invisible. And does that, I mean, we can indent that as well. Goes around that routine, and makes them invisible by changing their visibility to zero. And it comes back, and we've got this other routine, show menu text. So show menu text is down here, and what that does is it displays the text objects that we want to see on the main menu. And then it goes into this loop called repeat until loop, and it syncs the screen and it repeats around this loop until the left mouse button is pressed or you've touched the screen if it's on the device. Then it sets game over equals zero which means the game is not over now and it goes to show the game sprites so it sets all the sprites to visible by i comma one okay we can indent that as well and then it also goes to hide the menu text because we don't want to see the, the name of the game and simple shooter and fire to start game when the game has started. So that's what that does. And then it returns back out of this routine. So that's what that bit does. It sets the score to zero and then we're into the game. So let's try that out. So now we've got a title. We've got fire to start and off we go. Still can't get shot, so now we have to go to the collision routine. So we've got a collision routine here. We've got this big chunk of code that's been de-highlighted. Now, if you want to quickly remove a whole section, you can use forward slash star, okay, and uh, anything between that and star slash gets remarked out or commented out. This routine will go through the five enemy bullets and it will check have they collided with sprite number one, which is the player ship. And if they have collided, if any one of them have collided, it will play the explosion sound, it will set the game over to one flag and it will move all the um, bullets off the screen, minus 100, comma minus 100, because if we left them where they were, they could keep triggering this this routine. So we get them off the screen, the collision's happened, the game's over. I also set the uh, enemy ship X and Y so it's off the screen as well and that comes out. So let's play that. So we get hit by one of these bullets. There we are, we're back to the main menu. Click again and we're off again. Now, we've got no high score here, so let's have a look at that. Main menu, what have we got? We've got a bit of code here that's de-highlighted. So this piece of code, it prints a score and then it, it goes into a check. If the score is greater than the high score, then the high score equals the score. 
So imagine high score was 10, score got to 20, well that's now a high score, so high score becomes the same as score. And uh, then we print the high score as well. So we run the game. You can see the high score now is going up in line with the score. And if we get killed, score when it starts will be zero again, but high score is remembered. There we go. So we've got an enemy shooting at us, we've got a uh, collision with the player ship. We go back to the main menu, there we go. That's the end of the simple shooter. There's lots more I could do with it. I could add particles and I could make the text look more colourful, but we have to end somewhere. I think that's a, a good guide to starting from the very basics up to a complete sort of simple shooter game. And then the next tutorial we'll do something uh, different and, and introduce you to more areas of our game kit. So please subscribe. I hope you're enjoying these tutorials. Please let us know what you think in the comments. Bye.